love this. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's the dance performance people cannot get enough of across the country world. Actually, a few weeks ago, the University of Minnesota dance team competed at the Nationals in Orlando and got people all over the globe talking. Look at this. Unbelievable. Well, that performance to Aerosmith's Dream On hit it huge on social media with millions of people on TikTok losing their minds over the precise turns and unbelievable moves. Well, joining me today is the, ma is the man behind those much talked about turns, <laughs> dance team member Matthew Greco, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Matthew. Hello. I uh, I was just telling Matthew and and the the viewers know I was in Disney World because uh, what when was that performance Friday night or Saturday night? Uh, well, it took place over three days. So three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was um, in the parks and other competing teams were talking about you. <laughs> and I'm sitting uh, at a place that we always hang out called the Rose and Crown. And it was odd, I didn't know you, but obviously um, from here, I know the U of M. And it was weird hearing other people talk about you as I was sitting there. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this Matthew guy has a lot of buzz around him. And then we, I started getting emails about you. When did you know was it the was it the reaction of the audience? Was it your own feeling? When did you know that this had left the building, so to speak? Um, it kind of hit me when like we were all like on social media afterwards, and like next thing you know, like all of the TikToks that we posted about just being at national started to blow up. Yeah, and then from there, like I would like scroll on my for you page, and it's just like next thing you know, I'm seeing myself. And I'm seeing my teammates, and I'm seeing everything just kind and of I'm like seeing me again. And I'm seeing and me again. It was just, yeah. yeah, it was like a trickling effect of just, you know, it getting out. <laughs> okay, let's talk about. Here it is again. Look at this, everybody. So let let's talk about those turns. Obviously, and I don't want to speak for the studio audience, but let me. Yeah, none of us are going to be doing something like that. <laughs> none of us are ever going to do anything <laughs> like this. I know, and here's what I mean by that. I know when we have a good show, like I have a feeling of like, like, and I'm not just saying this, like today, this audience is fantastic <laughs> and we're tracking and we're fun and we're, I can tell we're having a good show. In that moment when you're turning, when do you know, excuse my French, I am kicking Urse? <laughs> like, you know. Um, probably by the end of it, it's like when you finish it and like the crowd erupts, like that's how you just know when you were like on it. Yeah. Um, and it just felt so good in that moment to like, I like hit it and like saw the crowd and like everybody like stood up and hands and it was really it was a really sick experience. Okay, so you have that moment. You have that moment for however long the the, the song is the performance is, but there's hours and hours and hours and hours of prep that goes in before it. What is what is a typical training day like for you? Give me some hours. Like what are we talking here? So usually our training like really picks up during like January because that's like the weeks leading up to nationals so we have two practices a day um, usually we'll do like a 9 to 12 and then a 2 to 5 moment so it's usually split up between three hours but it's about six hours a day and then we try to do some recovery in between that with our athletic trainer and stuff so keeping our bodies healthy and then making sure we're fueling properly is super important too. I know you don't have an idea of the other teams per se what they're going to do what's it going to look like maybe you hear some some scuttlebutt did you feel pretty good going into Orlando about you and your team in general yeah for sure we felt super no offense confident. to the other teams but yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> not at all um yeah it was we all felt super confident um our coach just kept saying that we were so consistent and that was something that she was like really prideful about going into nationals is how consistent we were and she was like i'm just not nervous like i'm excited for us to go down there and just share what we have been working on you guys got second in jazz performance but hello you got first yeah in the palm team right yes. first <laughs> yeah. yeah here it is let's 
Now, I got to tell you, this one I, I'm looking at for the first time. I've obviously seen the other one about 1,000 times. Yeah. This is, again, you felt the same way about this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As you should. As you should. <laughs> Have you, um, is this something that you, when did you know you, because again, I knew that I wanted to do this at a very early age. Mm -hmm. I, instead of playing sports, I was on a rock playing talk show host. <laughs> um, when, yeah, it was great. No, my, my dad loved me. Anyway, um, yeah, he loved me. Uh, my, males in my family thought I was the greatest. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, when, when did you know that this is what you wanted to do? Um, well, I started dancing when I was like around eight years old. So it kind of started as I just hated every other sport. You know, baseball was my thing. I was out there playing with the sand while my dad was yelling at me from the stands. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, from there, I, I started. This is to... my little brother, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, from there, I started competition when I was about 12, and then I didn't really start to take it seriously or realize that this was something that you, you could like do in college or in the professional world until I was like a sophomore in high school. Um, and then actually one of my friends made this team when I was a freshman in high school, so that kind of sparked my interest of coming here. Um, and ever since, it's been a dream, and now... Here I am living it out. <laughs> As you should. And I, you know what, I applaud you because, you know, I, I'm, I'm older. And it, was, uh, and it was very different. I remember even just being in drama club, it was difficult for me to walk through life, you know, not, not doing the typical boy thing. It has changed and it's gotten better, thank God. Yeah. Uh, but what was it like growing up doing something that's a little perceived by society as, oh, that's that's not what you should be doing. What was that like for you? I mean, luckily for me, I did have a really, really good support system with my studio. They always encouraged boys to dance. Um, growing up, I remember we had about, uh, I want to say 14 boys at my studio. Um, so I had a good support system and just um, always knowing that I loved it and just knowing that I was doing it for a purpose rather than for anybody else to see or stuff like that was really important to me. Did that, so, was that, was that like almost like a force field? You're, yeah, you're, it was like tunnel vision. Yeah. Your confidence w allowed you to block out right, 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 the right. hate or the, 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 because the they're really jealous. I mean, yeah. that's really what it is. They, yeah. they, they're jealous and it comes out sideways. It really yeah. is. And yeah. they should be because you're damn good. So there we go. Yeah. Give it up for Thank Matthew, you. everybody. Not, not that he needs more followers, but you can follow Matt on Instagram. His handle is Matthew.Greco03. Thank you for being here. Thank you We're so gonna much take for a break. Me. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. That was great. Thank, Thank you, so you so much. Yeah, it was so nice to meet you. Oh, oh.